Hello and welcome at uh, Year 6 to your virtual induction to Year 7 Drama. We are really excited to see you in September and today you'll be doing a little taster lesson of what your first sort of few terms of drama will be like and we'll be working on MIME. So today is an introduction to MIME and what that is and how we can create some short performances where, without using our voices and just focusing on our body language. OK, so as a starter activity, you have 30 seconds to find a space in the classroom and create a frozen picture, which means no movement at all, completely frozen, to create a character that is excited, so to show a character that is feeling excitement. OK, now with this, we've got a list of success criteria. So I want you to think about your facial expressions. How will you freeze your face to show excitement? Because that's the emotion we're focusing on. And for body language, where are your arms and legs going to be positioned? So these are two things that I really want you to think about carefully here when you have your 30 seconds to create your frozen image. As a challenge task to really try and push yourself today, try and think about using different levels. So maybe you're higher up or lower down in order to show this excitement. So 30 seconds, off you go. So hopefully you all had a go at the starter activity and that's hopefully warmed us up a little bit as well and helped us already practice what mime is. It's all about using our bodies rather than our voices. So learning question for today. So our focus for our little drama session. Can I explain what mime is and use my body language to communicate a character to an audience? So like I said, year six, this is what we're really focusing on today. And we're going to do a variety of little mini activities to try and practice using this type of acting. So before we start looking at a few activities, I want us to just pause where we are and think about what you already know about mime. So how confident do you feel in understanding what mime is? And can you explain what this means to your class? So between yourselves and your teachers, you've got a couple of minutes now to try and answer those questions. You don't need to write anything down. And then your teacher will be able to ask a few of you to share your ideas. I'd like all of you as well to have a go at using our traffic light system, which you can see on the board. And I want you to kind of evaluate and rate where you think your current learning is at. So if you think you know lots about mine, you might already be on green today which means you need to really aim for the challenge task later on. If you're on sort of amber yellow, you might know a little bit about mime, but you don't know an awful lot more. So it's about trying to discover and learn more about that today. And if you're on red, you've not heard of mime before, and therefore this is brand new to you, which is absolutely fine. And therefore this lesson today should hopefully give you some knowledge and understanding about what mime is. So a couple of minutes now to that activity, and then we'll start our first short practical task. Now that you've had a chance to reflect on your understanding of mime, we're going to have a little look now at a silent movie. Now, I'd like us just to pause and reflect on what you may already know. So have a discussion in your groups for a couple of minutes about what silent movies are and how they are different from movies today. You'll then need to watch a short video, which the link for can be found below in the PowerPoint notes section for the teacher's reference. And as you watch the video, it all uses mime. There is no sound from the actors. They're not using their voice. It's all through their body language. And this is the question I want you to think about and discuss after you've watched. How does the actor use their body language to show their thoughts and feelings to the audience? So I want you to think about how they use their face, their hands, their arms, their legs, their entire body to communicate what they're trying to show to the audience. So like I said, year six, watch the video and then have a discussion afterwards about the question on the board. Hopefully that video year six gave you a little bit more of an understanding about what mime looks like to an audience and how mime can be used to show the audience how that character on stage is thinking or feeling or something that they're trying to do, like an action, for example. So now it's your turn. I want you to find a space in the room on your own and try to mime these two scenarios. So the first one, frantically tearing a piece of paper. 
And the second one, picking up a coin that is stuck to the floor. Now, again, with your teacher, I like to spend a couple of minutes trying and practicing each one of these. And as you're doing so, remember to exaggerate your body language and remember your W's, which we're going to go through now. Who am I? What am I doing? And why am I doing it? So I want you to think about these questions really carefully for this task. So when you're tearing up the piece of paper, think about your character, create your character. Who am I? What am I doing? Well, you're tearing up your paper, but maybe think more about why you're doing this. Same for the other scenario as well. So give that a go, have a bit of show and tell with it, and then we'll move on to the next activity. Hopefully you had a lot of fun doing that mime task and you were able to watch each other's to see what people were doing with their body language to show those two different scenarios. So now we've done a little bit more work on mime, I want us to come back to the traffic lights. So I want us to now again assess where we are with our learning today. Now the question is how confident do we feel with mime now that we've done a little work on it? So again, I want you to use the traffic lights. It might be that the teacher asks you to close your eyes and put your hands up when they call out each colour. So they can gauge from that how many students are on each colour and what we might need to do next to help your learning and understanding of this type of theatre. Now that you've had a go at evaluating your current learning of mine, the next activity requires us to work in pairs. So with your teacher now, I'd like you to organise yourself into groups of two, maybe a three if it's odd numbers, and find a nice space in the room where you've got a little bit of, uh, sort of space around you to move and not hit each other. The next thing I'd like you to look at is the success criteria. So we're going to have a go at working in pairs to create mime today. And we need to make sure that we're thinking about how we're using our facial expressions to show the feeling of the character and that we're using clear body language to show your character's thoughts and feelings. And again, remember those three W's from earlier in the lesson. Now, your scenario is going to be miming, trying to move a chair that is stuck to the ground. So you're going to have to work together, folks, to really make sure you are showing this over exaggerated um, scenario to your audience. So, again, really thinking about how you're using your arms, hands and legs to show that that chair cannot move off the ground. It might be as well that you're able to use a, a chair as a prop. Um, if not, then you'll have to imagine that that chair is there, which makes it even more of a challenge. But I'm sure that you can do it. Now, speaking of challenges, for this challenge, I've given you an extra little bit of pushing with your learning, and that is this time to try and use different levels, such as kneeling or, uh, you know, maybe standing really tall to show the struggle with the chair. So, again, we're not just trying to, you know, do this at one height. It's more interesting for an audience when different actors and characters are using different levels on stage. So again, you've got three to four minutes now to create your mime. Uh, I'd like it to last about 30 seconds so that the audience have time to really watch your characters struggling with the chair. And then we'll move on to the next activity. Good luck and enjoy. Now that you've had a chance to work in pairs, I'd like each of you now to perform to the class. And we call this in drama, and this is something we'll do a lot of in year seven, show and tell and peer assessment. So this is where, as a class, we look at the great things that are going on with our practical work and drama, but also the things that could maybe be a little bit better next time to make it an even greater performance. So I want you to have a look at each other's mimes, and as the audience, I want you to give feedback on each group. Use the success criteria to really help give great and useful feedback. So again, as you're watching each sort of mime scenario of the chair, think about how the actors are using their facial expressions. How are they using their body language? Could they do more with their body language to make it even more clear to the audience that they're struggling to move this chair? And obviously with mime as well, because we're using our bodies and over-exaggerating so much, quite often it's very funny. So again, is what you're watching comical? Could it have even more comedy in it by the characters using even more exaggerated movements? So these are some things that I want you to think about. And once you've done that, we're going to sort of round off our shorter session today with, again, some self-reflection using the traffic lights. So off you go and make sure the feedback you give is really polite, really respectful and most of all useful to help everyone progress. 
Okay, so our final short activity today is revisiting for the final time our traffic lights. Now, I want you to think about where you were at at the start of the lesson. You might have been on red or amber slash yellow. And I want you to think now, after we've done the different activities on mime, which colour your understanding is on now. So if you feel like you've learned lots more about mime today, it might be that you've gone from amber to green or from red to amber. And if you are already on green, I would like to think about how you've tried to achieve the challenge task today to really push your skills within this drama lesson. So again, look at the question, how confident do we feel with mime now that we've done our lesson on mime? Okay, so I want to have a little think about that. And then that will be the end of our short lesson. Now, this is just a little snippet into what drama will be like for you in September. Like I said, we're really looking forward as the drama department of Gillsborough Academy to be welcoming you in September. And we look forward to seeing all of your acting skills progress throughout the year as you move into year eight as well. And we're doing lots of different topics, quite a lot on mime and improvising using scripts. So hopefully you'll be really, really, um, how can I put it, sophisticated actors by the time you've um, done your first year with us in year seven. And we'll continue into year eight and year nine as well. So lots of excitement ahead. And we look forward to welcoming you to our department in September. Have a fantastic summer and look forward to seeing you soon.